Today we're going to be doing a coin review on NeuroChain. So I've decided to stray away from the coin analysis and evolve this video section or this video series into a coin review. I think that's much more researched and I just like the name. It's more simple. So here we go. Hey there YouTube, welcome to Altcoin Picks. Like I said, today we're doing NeuroChain, and as you can see here, they're at about a 70.31% on my ICO sheet. This is my rating, not any of my team members. It could evolve a little bit depending on the more information I get from the team. I'm actually kind of having a hard time getting in contact with the team. I had to have one of the investors that have been in there since they've had a very small amount of people help me with a lot of the questions that I had. So either way, I want to thank all you guys for coming. Let's get started. But before we do, don't forget to smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, of course, smash that subscribe button. Also, Stefanos will be posting a market news video today. Check it out. I believe it's going to be pretty awesome, pretty informative. I'm looking forward to actually watching it myself. So of course, like always, for my review, we will look at what is a NeuroChain, their NCC token purpose, the team and advisors, the competition, and the partners associated with this coin. And then we will check out their prototype if they have one, and then look at the market cap or the ICO details, their roadmap, and then determine the pros and cons of the project. So what is NeuroChain? It's an augmented blockchain. Also, it's an artificial intelligence ecosystem, which exploits sustainability and distribution characteristics of the blockchain and adaptability and prediction properties of machine learning, artificial intelligence, and big data solutions. The new consensus algorithm based on thermodynamics will allow scalability of the transaction volume and will therefore tolerate a large variety of smart applications. So NeuroChain makes possible very complicated business and social applications due to the variety of deployed algorithms, which integrity is ensured by the proof of workflow. The decentralized application can be easily implemented in adaptive ecosystem in interaction with its environment. So what about the NCC token purpose? So I actually had a little hard time finding this information right here. I went to the team, a few people from the Telegram actually answered this. So I'm gonna go with what they said. Basically, it's going to be used to run dApps, used for machine language and AI algorithms, and it's going to reward the bots. Outside of that, like I said, the team wasn't very receptive here. That's what I got. Of course, do your own research. So now let's check out their team. We have Frederick, who's the CEO of NeuroChain. He has over 15 years of experience at BGFI Consulting, where he's actually the founder. So he's getting his star experience for that. Next, we have Dr. Belia. He has some impressive experience at Adium, I think that's how you say it, with quantitative research and modeling. And then at CEA, Commission for Atomic Energy and Alternative Energies, where he did nuclear fusion research. Then Jet and MIT, where he was a scientific collaborator. So an interesting note, the CEO, Frederick, and then the CTO, Dr. Belia, created a book, or they wrote a book on a blockchain, and it's in French. So that, in general, shows at least they have a huge set of knowledge in blockchain, which is actually super rare right now, at least. So our third person, or he, this guy's actually a superstar and a master star, in my opinion, is Bruno, the C -E CMO of NeuroChain. So he has some significant experience at Dissault Systems, where he was the vice president of a few different sections in the company, and he was there for about 10 years. But before working there, he worked as county manager of Japan at PTC, which works with the Internet of Things. And he started there as a regional director in 1996. So he's definitely has over 20 years of experience in this field. It's probably much more than that because that was when he started as a regional director. That's what we see on LinkedIn. So those are the top three people, in my opinion, on their team. And I actually gave their team a three, which is actually pretty good on the ICO sheet. It's green, definitely a positive. It's above average for sure. Next, we have their advisors. So they have one advisor that really sticks out to me and it's Dr. John Rice. So he has over 40 years of experience as a senior research scientist at MIT, 
which we all know is one of the best schools in the country. So 40 years of experience in anything is ridiculous. And that's why I'm giving him their top advisor award. I guess that's if that's what you want to call it. <laughs> so next, let's check out their competition. And there's actually a really good article on Medium that kind of compares NeuroChain to Ethereum. Also, they have this chart on their white paper. So we all know that Ethereum is basically a blockchain where smart contracts were first introduced, while NeuroChain is a new project focused on machine learning and AI. So what are the things that make them stick out? They have a newly developed protocol, which is faster with more available transactions while reducing energy requirements, which use the proof of involvement and integrity. And there's actually a quote from them saying, what we can say is that our consensus algorithm can process 60 million of transactions in less than one minute to determine the bots for the assembly and the election. Next, they have the new communication protocols. They have real time intelligent application systems that use smart systems and automatic learning algorithms in direct opposition to the regular smart contract. Then we got the new ecosystem of collective AI. They have a better operating infrastructure than op that's operated on CPUs only. And then also a new ecosystem instead of a group of programs operating independently. So again, there's a Medium article that I was checking this out that kind of describes this. And of course, you have all the differences here in this chart if you want to check it out. Again, it's on page, I believe, 26, yes, of their white paper. Next, let's check out their partners. So with their partners, they have companies in many different areas exploring many different technologies, such as industries in food and traceability, asset management, supply chain and logistics, energy, solar distribution, storage, and peer-to-peer -peer cell, banking, law enforcement, public region, government, many different ones. So the only issue that I found is they didn't really have any significant partners that have any big names that stand out to me personally. That's something we all like to see. So I believe they got a one. Yeah, so quality partners, they got a one there. I need to see something big. So something again from the guy in telegram that was helping me he said they met with the french government today and the founder bruno said and this is a quote i am in touch with the government to deploy neurochain as the solution for social innovation a government initiative sponsored by president Macron. i don't know how to say his name <laughs> We should be positioned as the de facto solution for blockchain solution when the government is solicited for an opinion. That is opening great op great that is opening great possibilities, property management, public subsidies management, opinion polling. So Neurochain is unique to do this. And I'm sure many of you heard supposedly Paris is wanting to be a hub for ICOs, which which puts Neurochain in a unique situation. Again, Neurochain is kind of like the blockchain of France, I guess you could say. <laughs> so next, let's check out their prototype. So to check out the prototype, you got to go on their GitHub. So it's super, super bare bones. And you're just going to look at code here. So it's not the easiest thing to see. They have, again, first public version of our sandbox prototype. It's not what we've seen from many other ICOs, but at least they have something here, something that's a huge negative. So with if they don't have it. So what we're looking at here, they have an alpha or beta. So they're getting points for that at least. Next, let's check out the token metrics. And this is actually fairly unique and pretty interesting. So we're looking at about 37 million hard cap. Here it says 30 million euro, which again, that's about 37 million USD. We have 395 million circulating supply and this is post ico but their total supply is 4.374 billion so that's only nine percent that's going to be in the circulating supply that completely worries me but for some reason they say right here the total amount made available to investors is 15 percent, and it's because they basically say they have 6% called the reserve, which progressively gets released to finance the project. The reserve is locked and managed by the foundation to finance the remaining steps of the project. I don't like how they say that because 
this is what I'm looking at. This is the circulating supply, at least right now. It's only 9%. I don't really count this as part of the ICO. So with that, we have that in the chart, 9%. And each token's about 0 0.099 cents. And the public sale, as I said, starts on the 19th. So it's already, already begun. And then it ends on April 9th. That's the token metrics. I said it's kind of unique in that, that sense. <laughs> so let's check out their roadmap. So now first, of course, we're gonna look at what's ahead of us. So April, 2018, NeuroChange protocol development in large environments. But the issue is that's really it for 2018. Took us out. After that, we move straight to 2019. So new blockchain infrastructure based on proof of involvement and integrity. Then we got June, we got the integration of proof of workflow allowing intelligent applications based on machine learning. And then we go all the way to March, 2020. Integration of intelligence sharing property by the bots and in stratration. I don't know how to say that word, <laughs> of collective AI. Then we got March, 2020. We have integration of intelligence sharing property by the bots and instruction of collective AI. If I said that word wrong, I am sorry. <laughs> then we have March, 2023, which is so far away. They have self consistent distribution systems will be achieved where the bots experience a form of autonomy. And then, yeah, that is a huge jump in a roadmap. And I'm hoping that we will see more information for 2018. Usually the further they get along, the more they add this. So I'm expecting a lot more milestones to be added while they proceed, maybe after they finish the SEO, I don't know. That's kind of a negative to me, but at least they have that five year period. Also, something else we'll talk about in the pros actually. Next, let's talk about the pros and cons of the project. So first pro, we have the founding team only gets 3% of their tokens and 7% for the management team, which is vested for over five years. So I love that idea. We saw they have a huge roadmap and if they're vested for five years, that means they really have to push hard to make sure it's worth their money, which is great. I do not like seeing companies that are vested for like six months. That's, that is not a good thing. They have that here, huge plus in my opinion. Next, they do have a prototype, even though it's super bare bones, at least they have one. So that's kind of a positive and a negative. Next, they have a disruptive tech in a pretty huge industry. Next, we have their cons, and I'm sure majority of you already know, at least the biggest one is their circulating supply. Only 9% for the public sale which is $37 million hard cap. That's kind of hard to swallow. 37 million isn't super small. So their total is gonna to be like 300 and what? 400 million almost. Granted, it's gonna take a long time for that to happen, but still I do not like those token metrics. And I'm kind of confused why they're doing that 15%. We kind of already went over why they're doing that, but that doesn't really seem that that's ICO circulation. Either way, 70% will be used for the elective bots. That's where the huge amount are going. Their team is pretty good. They're partners. So I think they need to work on partners. Like we said, they need something big. I don't like their roadmap. That only has one thing going on in 2018. They need to fix that. Please do something, add more, break it up. I don't know, something there. And then they got a 70% on my ICO sheet. I don't know if that's a con. That's kind of in the middle. 70% is not awful, but is definitely not great. With that being said, that is my corner view. Let me know what you think. What are your pros and cons of this project? Are you investing in it? If you are, why? Now I know it's a blockchain. We do love that. The idea is super ambitious. Token metrics aren't the best. Anyways, give me your opinion. I would love to hear what you think. Don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please smash that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.